When you look at the osteoporosis and results of spine, of cervical spine surgery, you will see that in large studies uh, with many hundreds of patients, you'll see a decrease in good outcomes because the bone grafts that are placed in will fracture, they may not heal, or if met metal or plastic cages are put in, then they wear their way into bone, a condition we call subsidence. Also, hardware may fail, and this leads to poor healing, uh, what we call non-unions, revision surgery, and other bone-related complications. In addition, you have to worry about having other osteoporotic-related fractures regardless of your cervical spine condition, such as a hip or spine or uh, other spine fracture or wrist fracture and we would also like to treat and prevent those if at all possible and this is a good time since you're undergoing a bone procedure to at least consider having your bone assessed.